Hey y'all, welcome to episode 11 of our Spirity Let's Play. Automatically we're gonna check what's up. So we have Clarence, Gail. Oh, that's right. Oh, man, okay. I remember that. Oh, that's right, and then we were... This is when, whenever I got, okay. So I think we're good now. Jillian, yeah, Jillian is here, so hopefully the game won't glitch this time. But, um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully it won't glitch this time. So I think we can go check it out. I don't, I don't think there has to be a specific time, but let's, let's grab this guy. Uh-huh, gotta take him over to the bathhouse. Okay. Now, I'm a little unsure, though, because Jillian is currently... And I'm saying Jillian because the, the error, like the error message that popped up had her name in it. So I'm assuming that Jillian is the Tanuki. But I, I'm a little scared because Jillian is currently at the at the uh, at the restaurant, at at Jillian's restaurant. So I don't know if this is gonna pop up as a error again or what. But I don't know. We just gotta see. Okay, perfect. I was getting scared. <laughs> Where? What? What? What's happening? Anna, Anna, what's going on? I was working and then suddenly, so small. I had this fever dream that I was a small animal. You totally were. Come on now, you don't have to make fun of me. Jeez, you almost had me there. But I can't even, it felt so real. Yeah, Miss Girl. Wait, what are we doing here? Where is here? Is this the bathhouse? Wow, it looks a lot cooler than I thought it would actually. I was expecting it to be all run down, but it looks like it's almost operational. I can see why you come up here all the time to take pictures or whatever it is you do up here. Man, I really can't, I really can't get a grasp on what just happened. I need to think. The last thing I remember was taking a sip of that drink I got from that salesman. Anna, I don't know for sure. But just be careful about drinking anything strange that you buy over near the shop in town. Jeez, I feel like I broke all of the rules my parents taught me when I was a kid. I'll see you later. I've got to go lie down for a bit. Okay. A shady salesman giving out transform-inducing drinks? This definitely sounds like the work of a spirit. Let's, over let's head over to the shop and see if we can figure this out. Yeah, let's, because what? Shady salesman, huh? How is y'all's day going? I hope it's going good. I I actually apply because, like, as you as some of you guys know, I've been unemployed for a minute since I quit. Since I well, not quit my job, but like, yeah, I guess quit my job since I quit my last job. So I've been unemployed for a minute, and I finally got in the courage to apply for another job so yeah i applied this morning actually i guess i just got done applying and i was like okay let me just go ahead and be productive today see what's up see what's up so i i, I feel really good today like it's it's a step in the right direction and i know it is All right which shop there's two shops shady salesman shady salesman Oh, okay. <laughs> so this must be the vending machine in question. I've been giving it some thought and I'm thinking this must be the work of a Tanuki spirit. They're, es they're experts in shape-shifting and mischief and this whole situation has their fingerprints all over it. I don't imagine we'll find this salesman through any normal means, so what I'm about to suggest is a bit extreme. Tanuki are great at perceiving their own kind and unfortunately, I think that means they're gonna have to drink one of those drinks in order for us to put an end to this mess. Don't worry though, we know that passing through the Toro Gate in the bathhouse will restore you back to normal. For now, you go drink one of those one of those sodas, preferably out of sight. 
and then we'll go find this mischievous tanuki. Okay. Oh, put the plant down. I was like, where is he at? Okay. Let's drink it. Oh my god, I'm so cute. Stop. Oh! I'm so cute. Now look who we have here. Another poor sucker who slurped up my most cleverest of cocktails. So here you are, the master trickster himself. Who? What? Wanyin? What do you have to say for yourself, huh? Mindlessly punishing mortals for what? Drinking a drink? There's no sense to it. it. It's not like that. They, they've forgotten all about us. How are we supposed to? Turning them into mindless animals isn't going to gain you any prayers, you dimwit. M mindless? How dare you? We, we to new. Wait. Ah, uh, it's becoming pretty clear you're barely a. <laughs> ah, it's becoming pretty clear you're barely one IQ point higher than the animals you're changing them into. That's crazy. That's crazy. Crazy work for real. Oh, look how cute he is, though. They're not animals. They're Tanuki. And I'm... I'm Mujina. Hello, Mujina. You're part of the list of ever-growing names that I'm gonna forget. <laughs> Regina? No, you're dead meat if you don't fix this. Y yes of course! Just a moment. Yay! Back to normal. There. Nothing to get heated over, right? Now, you're gonna go back into that shop and make sure people can't buy any more of your donkey spit drink. <laughs> Ouch, I put a lot of effort in. The flavor should at least be- Are we clear? Y yes one sir. Good. Then, I better not see you anywhere but at the bathhouse. We've reopened it and need more customers. You're going to make sure we have plenty. Customers? Customers are plenty. Got it. Now get out of here. Uh, okay. <laughs> Ew. Oh. Oh. Okay, by 6 p.m. Open the bar at 6 p.m. That's right, because there was the throw up and all that mess was there before 6 p.m. But whenever I checked that, I think whenever I checked at 5, it was there as well. So I might need to. Might need to check that out before 5? Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, and, okay. Something about there always being a mess in the first part when she gets to work after six, whoever, whatever is making that mess must be doing it sometime before then. So yeah, it's definitely some time before. We're just gonna sleep it off. We're gonna go to sleep. Oh. Ah. Um, 11, 12. One, two, three. gonna go check the karaoke bar. Hello, Soda. So we got going on. Alright, yeah, the mess is here. Nobody hiding in the closet. Oh, look who it is. Who are you supposed to be? <laughs> oh, put it down. Put it down. You, you can't. This is. 
Who can what now? So it was you two making a huge mess of the karaoke bathroom. You didn't stray too far from the crime scene, huh? Maybe the one on the left couldn't. Maybe the one on the left couldn't in that state. A white cat. Wanyan? Why's your Wanyan? <laughs> Smack. <laughs> it's Wanyan, you in, in, in. Oh god. It's Wanyan, you inebriate. <sighs> Ow! <laughs> Took you long enough. Huh? I feel like something's coming loose. Something's coming loose, come loose. It's probably just your common sense because it clearly wasn't being used. This one looks tiny. Huh? I'm... I'm... Wanyan? Uh-oh! Heck, I'm not, I'm not! Oh, a, sh a shape shifter? It's a duck. I think I'm Juku. Juku, you are absolutely adorable. Oh my goodness, you're so cute. Juku, huh? That name rings a bell. Then who is it you've made into your lackey this time? Yeah, who are you? Yes, let's see. Are you cute too? The heck is that? I, I'm not a lackey. I, I'm Ribbard. Ribbard? Interesting name. Oh, you're tiny. <laughs> Ribbard? Sure, whatever. You've got to stop hanging out with this juke you character. He's a terrible influence. Oh, come on. I ain't that bad. Oh, so you weren't asking Ribbard here to go steal drinks from the restaurant? Uh, actually, Wanyan, sir. Uh, I know it wasn't right to steal, but I've been trying to help Juki with his problem. Help him by enabling him? This ought to be good. The drinks I've been giving Juki, I actually have been d diluting them with water. More and more each time. You've been doing a what now? <laughs> I I'm sorry, Juki. I was just trying to help you. What gives you the right to decide what's good for me? I... How I don't enough, both of you, or I swear to all the gods, I would devour you both right now. Except maybe you, Juku. I don't want anywhere near my mouth. I might have to just mortally wound you. Funny, this funny. We're here to stop you from A, stealing booze from the restaurant, and B, making a mess in the bathroom next door. So, unless both of you want your existence on this plane to end, you're going to not only clean up your mess, but you're also going to clean your mess, but also you're going to periodically clean this karaoke bar from top to bottom. Yes, sir. You've put more than one mortal through more you've put more than one mortal through more suffering than they deserve, and you will make up for it. Yes, yeah, sir. And come by the bathhouse on the mountain. A good soak would do you both some good. Who knows? Maybe you can sort through your messed up friendship there. <laughs> I like that. Me too. I don't have any of the friends. I don't care. Now go away. Oh, Lord. Can we, can, ew. Ew, the sound it makes when you step through it. Maybe I need to go soak real quick. Shoo. Let's see. Alrighty. Alrighty, righty, righty. And this is the first time I've ever seen her paddle board thingy. Wait, maybe we can talk to Toby now? He's at the, uh, the restaurant. Toby, Toby. Hey, y'all. Uh, hey, Anna. I, uh, how's the book coming along? Eh? No, no, I'm good. I just... No, they wouldn't understand. I've, uh, been having quite the week. Some pretty weird things have been going on. The, uh, hot springs up on the mountain. Last Sunday night, I, uh, saw something. It was super messed up. I don't know what to tell you. Just don't go up there on Sunday nights. 
Why, why would they do that? They, I don't even know. Okay, so Sunday nights it is. Right, real quick. Ooh. Oh, yeah, I forgot that happened. Wait, we did a lot. Look at us. Whoa. <gasps> we finished writing the book? You finished writing your book. You've accomplished what you came to Stanville to do. I guess all that's left is to wrap up any loose ends and catch the bus out of town. What? Well, is that it? You look a little stunned. More than usual, anyway. I guess writing that book really was a big deal for you. Heh. <laughs> Always knew you'd leave at some point. Aww. Well, whatever. Am I supposed to be sad or something? Why don't you go and catch the bus already? It comes twice a day. Leaving this shabby town shouldn't be all that hard. Don't worry about us, spirits. We'll be... Frankly, it's none of your concern. Just go if you're gonna go. Come Yin. I'm not gonna go. Are you kidding me? I can't believe you've been playing this game for 37 hours already. <laughs> what do you know about that? What do you know? Did you know that after the Katapi Empire colonized Tulun, they brought with them their spiritual beliefs? Many new spirits started showing up in, in, the, in this region, and some spirits partially changed in response to the new prayers and offerings. That's back when you mortals actually gave us spirits a second thought. Dude, I'm not leaving. Are you joking? I just got here. And there's so many more spirits that I need to... That I need to get and save. Hey, Sujin girl. Spring, the season of love. Yuck, yuck. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh! 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 Where are- what the heck are you doing? Where are your clothes? Nobody wants to see that. That sicko ghost bus knocked you- That sicko ghost bus knocked you flying right out of your outfit. <laughs> If I were you, and thank the gods I'm not, I'd check the mountain for your clothes. My guess is that they're somewhere near where, where you were attacked. It's possible they were knocked into the river and carried downstream a little. I started the hot springs and worked my way down the mountain. That is, if I were a banana missing my peel. Not me running nude! This is embarrassing! Girl, what? Oh my god, please. Why am I naked? Oh my god, I hope nobody sees me. I gotta avoid everybody. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. Wow. No wonder freaking Toby was traumatized. Hey girl. Just looking for my clothes, you know. All right, let's follow the river. Was that it? You got your clothes? Elder's rotting teeth. You finally got your clothes back. I was worried I'd have to find some spiritual embers to burn out my eyes. That's crazy. Hold on. Yeah, I can sense some sort of trail. Perhaps that lecherous bus is too distracted to notice it left some tracks. These sort of tracks only appear at night, so we have to check back later. 
Hmm. That's crazy. Let's see where those spirit tracks lead. Mm-hmm. I see him. Yep. Yep. This way? Yeah, look at him. Look at him. What kind of bug is that? Okay, up here. This area again. Oh, it's over. Oh, this. It seems like the track's in, in here. Hey, pervy wheels. Are you home? Who, who, Kiki? There you are. What's the big idea of knocking us flying and stealing on a here's clothes? If I had my full power bag, you'd be kissing dirt. Or Kiki, it's you, Kiki. How you find me, Kiki? Just answer the question before I tear down your shot excuse of a home. No, no, please don't. No, no. Mortals all forget us, Kiki. No food for li No pray for little Numa's Kiki. No remember or not our name? Well, I've got a knuckle sandwich here for you if you don't spit it out. Oh. Kiki Ki, I remember. I am Umakiki. Sajiji, Umakiki. What? One cat, sir. Me so sorry. Me no know. Oh, God. Me no know why me Kiki did that. Me just so angry. And we won't find peaceful time for washing Numas in Hot Springs, Iki. Sir, what's a Numa? Do spirits really have knuckles? <laughs> Knock it off. <laughs> uh oh, not me getting hit. <laughs> Umakiki, you've earned nothing but our wrath for running us down and stripping my friend here. <clears throat> but those two hairy meatballs clinging to you don't deserve to be punished for their mother's lunacy. We've just recently reopened the bathhouse on the mountain and can guarantee some relaxation time away from the humans. Save this one. We appreciate your forgive me, Kiki. We Ki will go to the bathhouse. We Ki will no harm mortals no more. And Miki happy you made friend Ki again, one cap. It's one yin, you fur brain. And good, we'll expect to see you there. Oh, me give gift for kindness. Me found on mountain Kiki by river. Is that... I... I can't even deal with this with any... Oh. Is that... I... I can't even deal with any more of this. Whatever this is, it's beyond nonsense. Is this my underwear? <laughs> Whose underwear is this? Is it mine, dude? Is this my underwear? I don't want this. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave the underwear there. <laughs> What the heck, dude? I can't. <laughs> wow, I just got lucky. I'm genuinely impressed. It's been a very long time since I've met a human so observant. I, uh... I... Not so snappy with the remarks now, are you? Get your wits in order, old man. Ba -dum, ba -dum. A turtle? Actually, I don't even know if that's a turtle. <laughs> How dare you refer to me as a man? I, now am far beyond human. I could carry the world on my back if I wanted. Right, right. Whatever you say. But I mustn't forget myself. It appears I was losing myself, and I have you to thank for snapping me out of it. You two are more than a simple human, it seems. Please take this as a token of my appreciation. May it remind you to be steadfast in the face of challenges and opposition. While you're giving things out, why not stop the old spirit bathhouse and give us your business? Anna here has got it up and running again, and it's nice to see familiar faces there. Indeed? You can count on me. Then you can count on seeing me there. Good lord, that was weak. <laughs> well, thank you. I appreciate it. No, but yeah, that was pure luck. Spotted. Because apparently, his spirit is attached to him. 
And I see it all the time. And I never really noticed that. I just thought the bird was like. Was like. Oh, here it goes. Yeah, look at that. I don't know if we're supposed to follow the bird or what. Like, am I supposed to follow the strings? Oh, would you look at that? Who? Oh! You didn't get a chance! <laughs> Pain! That's for wasting our time chasing after the golden bird. Why chase? Because... Understandable. <laughs> How are you even controlling it? I saw spiritual strings. Are you some sort of puppeteer? Recollection, maybe? If you take any longer, I'm going to chew through all of your strings. Guanyin. Oh, it's ugly. I'm so sorry. Realization. Name. Muo. Muo, is it? Stop bothering the morning puppeteer. Instead, puppeteer some moolog over to our collection pond in the bathrooms. And take a bath while you're at it. You're all grungy. Bath. Enjoy it. Visitation. Sure. Thanks. Give it. Yeah, yeah. Just stay out of trouble. You have no idea how tempted I've been to just get tangled up in strings and eat my way out. Yeah. Please, don't. <laughs> Next time, I just might. That's another spirit down. Looks like now we're just waiting on... Kenzo and... Because we'll be able to talk to Yumi while she's... Whatchamacallit. And we won't be able to talk to Kenzo while he's at work either. So I'm gonna have to wait. I'm gonna wait till like around 5 or like go to sleep and then wake up at 5. Let's do that. Oh. Hopefully everybody is off. See, where does Yumi live? I feel like Yumi lives on the second floor, maybe? Or third? Because it's Claire. No, it's Kim in this one. Yeah, Kim, Eric, and Gail. So she lives on the third floor. I just don't know which one. Oh, she's hanging out with Ling. Hello. Sujin is so lovely. But of her own. So you're not gonna say nothing either. Okay, cool. Let's go check on Kenzo. Is he still working at the store? Dang, when does Kenzo <laughs> when does Kenzo get off? Maybe around like eight, maybe? I don't know what time the store is all closed. I think we have to keep an eye out for Sujin as well. Let's see, okay, she's at the restaurant working. I guess we'll go to sleep for a little bit longer. Kenzo should be off. Let's see where everybody left. Kenzo's at the store. Where's Sujin? Kenzo's still at the store. Okay, Sujin is working. 
Dang. <laughs> what y'all doing in here? Girl, talk to Bruce. Have you chatted with Sujin at all recently? Kenzo tells me that she was acting differently than normal. Which between you and me, Kenzo was pretty stoked about, but I digress. Maybe you should ask Kenzo about it? I already did, Brucey Boo. He ain't saying much. Hmm, look who's here. Hi! Did you come up here to see me, perhaps? Yes. Oh, truly? You know how to make a girl blush. Hey, I'm Anna. Do you want to play a little game? It's simple. I was just curious how much you know about me. I'll ask you some questions, and if you get them all correct, then I'll give you a nice reward. Question one. What is the name of my boat, lady? Hmm, okay. Now on to the next question. What is my favorite color? Blue? Wow, you know so much about me. I'm so grateful. Okay, next one. How long have I been in Stanville? Two years. <laughs> you must really want that reward, huh? Last question. What do I need the most right now? I would think a house. Um... Mm. House money, money. She, cause she's working at the uh, the place. You actually got them all correct. Do you love this girl or something? Uh, I mean, aha! See, I knew something was off. Oh, shut it, you floating fortress of a cat! Floating fort? You, you wait. See, Anna, she can see me. She's obviously a spirit. Who couldn't see you? You cause an eclipse every time you float past the sun. Oh, you're lucky I have rules about not hitting trash. Trash? Anna, are you going to let him slander your lover like this? I swear to all of the gods, you better control yourself, Anna. Leave her alone, just stop it, spirit. Honestly, just cut it out already. <sighs> you two are so boring. You really need to keep pretending to be Sujin? You're not fooling anyone. Oh, come on now, don't you find me pretty? Geisha. Or is it perhaps that you find my natural form of her feeling? What? What am I looking at here exactly? It's no wonder Anna came running to me when they had some peace and quiet. Alright, coin pig. You're worrying on my patience. What do you want? Two things. I know you're not going to give up the money you undoubtedly stole from poor Kento. So the least you can do is give it to us by visiting the bathhouse. Oh? It's reopened? Then I accept. What else? Stop bothering the townsfolk by imitating them. We're trying to restore things back to how they used to be, which means if you want the attention of mortals, then give them your blessings at a shrine. None of this shady, behind the bushes nonsense. Hmm, I suppose the old ways always were more straightforward. More guaranteed. Fine, I accept. Simply because I know I will see more of this one. Simply because I know I'll see more of this one at the bathhouse. <laughs> Are you fighting me right now? <laughs> Worry not, dear mortal. Your relationship with Mariko. Okay. Worry not, dear mortal. Your relationship with Mariko has only just begun. If you know what's good for you, you'll ensure that your relationship with Mariko is, in fact, finished. She's nothing but trouble. She's always looking for a way to sink her claws into something. Don't fall for her tricks. Well, you know, I haven't really flirted with anybody, so, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Which one is her actual apartment? Okay. Hey, Anna, are you busy right now? Can I bother you with helping me out for a bit? Sure. Amazing. You're a lifesaver. I swear it won't take long. I forgot some papers I needed at work. I just needed someone to, uh, come with me to the school. 
Why? Okay, but don't laugh. But I've been super creeped out at any time at school by myself. There's a super old legend about that school. <sighs> Let's not talk about this now. We're about to head over there. Let's just go and get this over with. Come on. Seriously, thank you so much for coming. My classroom is just at the end of the hall on the left. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> Not the lights turning off. It's so dark. Anna, I can't get out. The stories were true. We're gonna die. <laughs> Calm down. How could I stay calm in this situation? <laughs> Come on. I should have a flashlight in my classroom. It's at the end of the hall to the left. <laughs> okay, here it is. Oh. You, you found it. Thank the gods. Now, uh, please, can you figure out how to get the lights back on? Hell no, I'm staying here. <laughs> I can try. You're seriously my hero. How to get the lights back on. What's wrong? Are you scared? Nah. I'm chilling. I'll let you leave if you play with me. It, it's a spirit. I had a f feeling. You're scared too? Yes, I'm scared. I don't like scary places. Sue me. Boy, get out of here. Okay, a way to turn the lights on. Upstairs. Oh my. He he he. <laughs> oh wait, I should check every classroom. Let's go to the cafeteria. Ooh, hold on. Free food. <laughs> Oops, I missed the door. A way to turn the lights back on. Ugh. You found me! Again, again! You won't find me again. Well, I mean, there's not many places that you could go, but you know. Um. I'm like, where else have I not been? <laughs> I don't know. You can go up there. <laughs> How did you find me here? Did your friend tell you you cheater? I'm gonna bite your head off if you don't stop this right now. M Mr. Wanyan? Anna, I think it's in here. Oh, don't test me. I'm in no mood for games. Please be a ghost. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, Mr. Wanyan. I didn't mean to. I don't know why I... I'm Nanashi. I'm Nanashi. I'm so sorry, Mr. Wanyan, sir. I don't know what came over me. Enough. Just unblock the damn door and turn the lights back on. Y yes sir Good. Now, I don't want to see you anywhere except for at the bathhouse. And your pockets had better be filled with moolags. Uh, I- I'll bring what I can, sir. You'll bring it all. <laughs> I'll bring it all, sir. <laughs> The lights, they're back on. Let's try the door again. Girl, we're good. I got you. Your friend got you. 
Oh, thank the gods, it's open. Thank you so much, Anna. I don't know what the heck that was, but I have died if I was here alone. You seriously saved me. Did you even get your papers? I'm gonna go before this door locks again. I'll see you later, or else you'll leave me in here. That's crazy. That's absolutely crazy. Okay, I mean, I'm gonna check the board one more time. Yep. Okay, well... I'm gonna go ahead and say one more goodbye to my house. The house that I claimed I was gonna decorate and never did. But I low-key did with all my figurines. But, you know what I'm saying? I did what I could. Ah. <sighs> It was nice being here. Hey, okay, here it is. I'm gonna get on the bus and next thing go. Yes. Can you please wait for a minute, sir? Well, this is it, huh? I'm actually quite surprised you were able to focus well enough to write anything for the time. To be honest, when I saw you making so much progress in your book, I considered tearing it to pieces and then getting on some trouble making it spirit. That's just because she's sad. I didn't want you to leave, okay? Fortunately for you, I looked past my own needs and remembered that you mortals live short lives. No point in wasting any, any more time and no, I'm not even going to get trip you. Well, thanks. <laughs> I, all of us spirits, are all grateful for everything that you've done. On us. Truly, best of luck for all of your endeavors. Oh, are you getting on or not? Take care now, Anna. Go on, Yin. See you later, buddy. Were you talking to yourself out there? I was saying goodbye to some friends. Oh, stop! Okay then, take a seat. It's between you and me. I don't like to hang around this area for too long. I've heard stories that Stanville is haunted. Can you imagine? That's all my friends. Look at Wanyan crying! I caught that. I caught that for sure. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love this game. This this game is definitely in my in my top top favorites that I've played so far. Cheese Master Games, you made a wonderful game. Absolutely. Dan, that's a terrible picture of you who ever did that to you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, Dawn. Oh, Dan. Question mark. <laughs> this, this is an amazing game. And can't wait for you guys to watch my next series and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!